Hey everybody, Jesse here with you. It is Friday. Thank goodness it is Friday. Hey guys, I just want to keep you in the loop. Um, I don't know. Um, it's not like all of you. It's not like a lot of you guys are just waiting for my content to, to come out. It's not like I got a whole list of people just waiting to be notified when I pop a video. But I want to let you guys know that I'm going to spend some time with my family this weekend. Um, and I don't think I'm going to be having any content come out for a couple days. I need to regroup. I need to refresh. I have had just a bad two weeks. Very trying. One thing after another, and they're kind of compounding. Compounding. And today was a very bad day. Um, very bad day. Um, just, uh, you know, I'm to blame just as much as anybody else. I can have an attitude, I can think I'm large and in charge all the time, and I can see why people don't like that. It's Some some people think, since we're believers in Christ, that we think we're better than other people, and so when we're happy, and when we're always on point, and we're always thanking God, and being respectful, and, and, and all those things that come with it, it kind of makes, it makes us stand out, and so we're open to ridicule, we're open to criticism, and and sometimes it's blatant, and sometimes it's behind your back. But when you, you know, when you're, when you're, not, you know, when you're, when you're living for Christ, and all you can think is positivity, most 99 out of 100 days, when you're thinking positively, and you're thinking like Christ wants us to think, that's awesome. That's great. But every once in a while, we have just an off day, and that's when people pounce. That's when things can get bad, because that's not when people pounce. It's when the enemy pounces. Let me rephrase that. That's when the enemy sees an opportunity to get his foot in the door and to keep the door from closing. Because some of these, some of these relationships and friendships we have out there with people, they're important to us. We don't want to just throw friendships away like they're, you know, yesterday's casserole or something. I mean, give me a brick. We need to keep our friends. We need to be respectful. And uh, Lord, please forgive me if I've been in any way offended or, or, or was mean to anybody in any way, Father. Um, you know. Things can get passionate sometimes, and, and I, I, do, I really just look for, for correction. I'm not looking to, to get the person back. I'm not looking to even the score. I will take my lumps as they come. I will thank you, Father, for the lumps that I've gotten because they will teach me something. They will teach me something, and, and I expect more in the future. But bless those who are having a hard time out in the world, including myself and other people who are trying to live in sobriety and in recovery. But these days are getting harder, and uh, it is getting harder. But that does not that does not diminish the fact that we need to stay sober, on point, on track. Yes, it would be phenomenal. I don't think it would be, but to the average person, it would be great to go out and have a couple drinks, sit on the beach, have some social hour with your friends. But all the stuff that comes along that with with it for me isn't worth it. The hangover. The, the lost relationship that I have with my family, the, the the friends that I'll lose, the family, just so on and so forth. That relationship with Christ will always be there. It'll always be there. It'll always be there for us. It's whether we want to pick up the mantle and run with it or not. And I'm sorry, you guys, but not everybody in the world has that, that type of outlook. So, Father, yes, I know I'll be open to ridicule, and I know that it open to lots of things, attacks, whatever else, in so many different fashions and forms, not, I don't want to share every single thing, but you guys, it's, it's bad, we need to mount up, we need to mount up and strap up with your sword, continue to read God's word, I know I say it a lot, but listen, that's, that's, <laughs> that's the whole point of all of this, that's the whole point of all of this, not to hear my woes and my, my ups and downs and my roller coaster of a ride. No, 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 no. It's about learning what God can do in our lives in those times. So when things are great, yeah, things are great. We're living life. Things are awesome. We're smiling. We're happy. We're making money at our job. We're doing this. We're doing that. Boom. You get hit with an unexpected bill. Boom. Your truth, your truth hurts. Boom. You have issues with your kids. Boom. You have an issue with someone at your work. Boom. You have all these issues. All these issues. But it is nothing that we can't face together with Christ. It's nothing that we can't feel positive about knowing that he will fashion or form some sort of lesson out of these tribulations listen my friends listen Irish guy we are not the top of the we're not the cream of the crop we are not the cream of the crop 
we need to humble ourselves and be in order. And that order we get from God's word and we get through confirmation, we get through prayer, we get through thanksgiving, we get through honor, through praise, through worship, through loyalty to Jesus Christ. And I'm sorry that people out there haven't found him. There's no way in a million years, three years ago, four years ago, five years ago, I would have this type of reaction if something like this happened to me back then. I would have immediately gone to the liquor store, I would have immediately got all messed up, and I would have immediately called 10 million people, I'm sorry, oh, I will never do that again, blah, 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 just drunk Jesse trying to get, trying to win you back, and they'll be nice to me to a point because they feel sorry for me. But those days are long gone. That hour has passed. That ship has sailed, my brothers and my sisters. That, that tune has been sung. Irish guy is not a drunk. I'm a proud servant and a loyal servant to Jesus Christ. Yes, I sin. Yes, I fall short of the glory of God every single minute of every day. Every minute of every day I fall short. I know I do, Lord, but I'm asking you to please pick us up to help us when we think we can't help ourselves or teach us the way when we are down to get back up. What does that involve, Father? Are you tell me, read scripture? Yes, amen. Read scripture. Find a relationship with Christ. Find fellow like-minded, sober people that will help you along when you're struggling. Because then in return, you can therefore help them when they're struggling. Pick up the mantle, my friends. Let's do this together. Love you guys. God bless you guys. Have a good weekend. I'll see you later.